Hey everybody, so this is gonna be just a quick and dirty video on deploying a React website to Netlify. One of the really key things about Netlify is um, you can integrate it with your GitHub account. So what you can do is uh, once you have created an account at Netlify and created an account at GitHub, if you don't already have one, is you can, when you're logged into Netlify, and I'll just show you what my dashboard looks like. Um, when you're logged in at Netlify, you can add a new site directly from a GitHub repo. So I'm going to go through that process. We're going to make a React app. I'm going to push it to a repo. And uh, uh, yeah, hopefully you'll be able to do that as well with your own sites. Um, so I've already got a GitHub account. I've already got a Netlify account. The links to these are, uh, you can just join Netlify by adding your GitHub. So the key thing is have a GitHub. Use your GitHub. Use it often. Um, I've said this many times, I think it's super important and super helpful. I've got a shit ton of repos at my GitHub, probably too many. Um, but uh, you, should have, you should have a bunch there too. Um, so I'm going to make a new repository. I'm going to call it Netlify example. And I'm just going to push create repository. It's going to make me a new repository. And it's telling me once I've, if I want to add a git and push it, this is, these are the steps I need to take. So I'm going to save this for now, put this over here. And what I'm going to do is create a folder on my desktop called Netlify example. And I'm going to just take this over here. And in this folder, I'm going to open up a terminal. And I'm going to run npx create react app. I'm going to call it Netlify example. It's going to run. And um, while that's running, I can actually start my Git. Uh, so in this folder, the same Netlify example folder, um, actually what I'm going to do is cd into the folder that Create React App just made. I probably should have called these separate, <laughs> separate names, but um, uh, it is what it is. So in there, inside the folder that got created, inside this folder, I just cd'd into this in internal folder. Um, and what I'm going to do is initialize a new git file. And I'm going to git add. Eh, I'll, wait, I'll wait to do this. Let me see how things are progressing my install. Okay, so we're done. And you can see it says CD into Netlify example, blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to just go ahead and close this. And in here, I've got a bunch of stuff. I'm going to just, I think I'm just going to keep that stuff, but I'm going to go ahead and delete this app or what it returns. And instead, I'm just going to say And in here, I'll just say just an example project for Netlify. Now, this this really isn't a a, a video about building a, a React website, but if I um, run npm start, we can see we should see that text appear here on the screen. And now we can go ahead and push this up to Netlify. So what I'm going to do is come back with my git. I initialized my git repo. I'm going to 
get add period everything. Oh, I need to cd into notify example. And I'll say git add everything. Git commit m with a message of init. So I'm committing with manually with a, a message of init. And you see two files were changed. That was my app and my readme. Um, I also made a bunch of deletions. I like to change the name of my master branch to main, just because that's the uh, that's what we do these days. And what else? Let's see. I need to add the origin. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this. I'll just copy this whole line over. And now I've added this git repub repository as my origin. And I can just git push origin main. And you can see now I've pushed a bunch of stuff up there. If I refresh my GitHub, there we are. There's my stuff, just an example project for Netlify. And now I can come over here to Netlify. I'm gonna say new site from Git. And we're gonna connect to GitHub. I'm authorized. You may need to authorize yours. I'm gonna search for that repo. Oh. I don't know, there it is, Netlify example. I'm gonna select it. Branch to deploy main, build command, yarn build. I think it should work, we'll see. We'll try deploying this, it's starting up. And it's setting up this process called uh, continuous deployment. So every time I push some changes to my GitHub account, it will update my live Netlify site. And it's gonna give me, eventually, after it starts up, builds, and deploys, it'll give me a URL. So you can see, again, back to my team overview here. I've got a few, a few sites here. Um, Feel like it, yeah. There's probably some more down here somewhere, but um, once it's deployed, it'll have this URL. You can also, you know, buy a domain and and host a domain. I'm not going to show you how to do that in this project, but here uh, you can see it's building. So it's starting up. The build fail. When did that fail? So let's look at this error message. It looks good. Okay, yarn build. Um, I think what I need to do since I made mine with NPM, maybe I need to fix that. I'll try that again. other issues. Sometimes you'll get some issues. Uh, command fill with exit code again. Logo is defined but never used. So that's actually the problem right there. Logo is defined but never used. So I'll go to my app and since I deleted this code, this little yellow warning is causing me a problem. And we can also get rid of this. We don't need any of that. So we'll go ahead and git add those deletions we'll fix those warnings and we'll git push origin main so now what will happen is I'll come back here to my main 
team overview, you can see Compassionate Franklin. six seconds ago hopefully soon this will pick up there it is it's building again so it just takes you know what did it take 36 seconds to get started rebuilding that you can see i i fixed the warnings and so we'll hope that this works this time um there we go it worked it's published your site is now available at this link and there's my site so if I make further changes, like here I'll say, um, let's just say we'll set this to style. some padding and we'll check out our there we go so now I'm gonna change the color of that too He's got some nice inline styles there, and that's obviously different than this. To get that to reflect on my site, I just need to say git add. We'll add some styles. We'll get push origin main. We'll take a look at this. Refresh it. And we're building again. So this is this continuous deployment, right? And so what it's doing is it's just, it's linked to my GitHub repo. And every time I make a change and push that change, it will try to build my site. Now one thing, is you can't have any yellow. So I had some yellow there. If I have a variable const thing equals thing, this yellow here will cause, this is a warning, it will cause my deployment to fail if I push it. So you gotta now be extra careful about your code. You can't have any warnings of any kind. And so there's a bunch of warnings, for instance, on the new camp site. That's not gonna work. Uh, with a continue with 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 Netlify, but we can see if we go to my, if I refresh this, I've now got those changes pushed, and this URL is then one obviously that you can share with anybody. This is now a React site which is live, um, and that's really all I wanted to show you in this video. So I hope this will be good for again not for your new camp project because there's all those warnings in there. But for your personal projects, I think Netlify is a great place to host them. And uh, I wish you luck with those. All right.